Hello, math friends. Today we're adding fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. You remember back in the day when we would have two fractions with common denominators and we knew that we could just add the numerators and leave the denominators. Ta-da! And it didn't matter what that denominator was, even if it was a big number like 100. As long as the denominators were the same, I could add the numerators and leave the denominators. So what happens when I have a problem like this, where one of my denominators is 10 and one is 100? Now what? Well, you remember this thing we did called equivalent fractions. Equivalent, such a big word. It just means we're creating a fraction with the same value as our original fraction. And we do that by multiplying our numerator and denominator by the same value. In this case, if I want that 10 to look like that 100, I'm going to need to multiply it by 10. And if I do it to the denominator, I do it to the numerator. So my two tens magically becomes 20 hundredths. Now this is something we recognize and this is something we know how to add. No big deal. Let's try an example. Here, Bob the snail crawled six one hundredths mile and Bob's friend Sam crawled four tenths mile. Now we want to know the combined distance, a total. To find this total, this combined distance, we need to add our two fractions. Well, here we have our 100 and our 10. What will we do now? Let's turn that 10 into 100, multiplying our top and bottom by 10, so that my 4 tenths magically becomes 40 hundredths. Now I have two fractions with a denominator of 100. This I know how to add. 40 plus 6 is 46. And ta-da, Sam and Bob, together crawled 46 hundredths mile.